YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. And also you can find us on other social media. So let's jump into the topic and see what is at stake. So how to comment in the pull request, right? There are two types of comment that you can put on the two on the pull request. You have the inline comment and then the pull request comment itself. So let's start with the pull request comment itself. So um, I have this repository here called test. So, and as you can see, there are one pull request here. I can click here and we have a pull request open here called canary. So we go ahead and click on the canary pull request and I can add a comment, right? I can click here. If, if I put a comment here, I say, for example, hello, right? If I put a comment here, this is the comment at all the pull request itself, at the entire pull request itself. And then you can also tag somebody, like uh, to tag someone, like I can say at their support, you say at, start typing, his name will come. Um, You can say, for example, good job. So you can go ahead and put this so the, on this box and you can also if i type um tilde i type something um good tilde it will give me something beautiful like this right in code see oh this is all the comment that i place here i say if i say for example this code looks very nice right if i say this code looks very nice and i can you know put that put this in bold and pull request you will see the comment that i say here this code i'll, I'll put this bold so i can also upload a file if i want I can upload a file i can do everything that i, I want to do here right this is just like a word document so you can type stuff so you can text if you can also enlarge it if you want you can enlarge it you can Put stuff you can you know add screenshot and and everything on this pull request so this is a general comment on the on the entire pull request now let's say my colleague has made a code change then i don't like it i can make a comment in line so you will go here to file change instead you go to file change now it will show you everything is here let's say uh my co i make my commit made a mistake i want to i want him to actually go ahead and change this line i don't like this line i want him to change this line so this line start here or let's say this line because it's shorter one so say automation for everyone i want him to say automation for dev engineer for example i cannot modify what he said but i can also actually make a suggestion so i will come here this plus button will appear i will click on the plus button i will say i, will, I can tag my colleague and say can you please i can say looks it looks like the issue come from this line, right? I can put it there. So that's called inline comment. See, I'm putting a comment only on the, on the line, right? After putting the comment, I can do everything I want with that. So I'm putting a comment only on the line here. I can also delete that edit if I, if, I, if I forget something on the line, I can say here, I can update my, my comment, right? I can come down here also if I want and click, and then I will be able to, to put a comment. So, and when I'm done, when I'm done, right, I can keep adding stuff, you know, I can keep adding stuff if I want on my comment. And when I'm done, this is called inline comment. As you can see, it actually split to show you. When I'm done, I just have to click on review comment. Then I just have to, submit my my review and the inline comment will be able to be to be shown there as you guys can see it's shown here and it show you where exactly on the code i made a change compared to this comment that i said here hello canary good jobs good very nice and this is what is called inline comment so that's what we use to put comment on a github so you need to know where you're putting a comment you're putting a global comment or you're putting inline comment so I hope you like the video and see you guys on the on the next video. Thank you.